today I'm gonna to show you how to do that cool shirt changing effect that you just saw in the intro. This effect really comes in handy if you shoot clothing brands or if you just wanna add a little bit of extra effects to the intro of a vlog or something like that. If you guys are new here, my name is Jared Majors and I post filmmaking and editing tutorials every single week. If you guys wanna learn about filmmaking or editing, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the bell notification. You guys already know that I like to get straight into the tutorials, so let's get right into it. All right guys, so now that we're in Adobe Premiere Pro, I'm gonna show you the clips that we're gonna be working with today. Uh, so these are how I got the shots. So the first thing you wanna do is throw your jacket up and kinda just let it hit you. And then the next clip is me reacting to the jacket getting thrown on me. So I'm like jumping back. And then I am pretending like I'm pulling on that shirt. Now this is the shot I'm setting up for the actual pull off. So I'm putting the shirt underneath my jacket over my new shirt. And then I'm gonna actually pull off this shirt. Like so, there it is. So that's how I did those three shots. So what you're gonna wanna do is find the spot where the jacket starts to flip. You're still gonna want motion in the jacket when it's happening. So right there looks pretty good. I'm gonna cut that down. Then I'm actually gonna to go to the next clip and see where the reacting part should start. All right, so right there looks pretty good. So let's just put that over. And now this is what it should look like. All right, so pretty good so far. It looks really, really good actually. So uh, the next thing we're gonna do is to make it a little more smooth, we're gonna go to left side under effects and we're gonna actually type in cross dissolve. So right down here, here it is. I'm just gonna put that in between those two clips and then I'm gonna actually make that cross dissolve to be one frame only. So as little as it can go. And there you go. Pretty seamless. All right guys, so now let's work on the next transition. So now we're gonna come to the end of this clip here where I'm pulling the shirt off and I'm gonna to wanna to actually cut it right as the, the shirt is actually getting pulled forward. So right there looks pretty good. So let's cut that down really quick. All right, and then let's take the other shot. So this is how I set up the next shot. So I switched shirts and then I took the shirt I was wearing before and I placed it over my new one. So now I'm just gonna try to get the shot to match up with the last cut I made. So right when I'm pulling out, I'm gonna cut that clip. And with every single great transition or effect, you need some sound design. So to make this uh, effect sell a little bit better, uh, just add a little whoosh sound or a hit sound underneath where the cuts are made. So right here, I'm just adding a couple little whooshes. And yeah, now I'm just gonna adjust this last little whoosh sound right underneath that cut. And that's it, guys. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to go down there and hit that big thumbs up button. It really helps me out and it helps out the channel. I just wanna say shout out to all the subscribers and I will see you guys next week. I'm out.